Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video and in this one it is time to talk about the brand new update Especially the new overtime challenges and also how you can get the season 8 battle pass for free So that is right guys I've got a guide for you right here of how to do the first challenges that were released here Including like how to find the coins and stuff in a very fast way now as a reminder guys today is the day Supposedly that you can start getting the free cuddle hearts wrap by simply entering a creator code So if you haven't yet be sure to enter a code such as my code the llama sir if you want to help support me and also get this free wrap at the same time if you enter that between now and february 22nd you should be able to get this free wrap at least that's what the details on the news about it said so yeah guys be sure to enter code the llama sir if you want to help support me and get that wrap at the same time and yeah guys on top of that be sure to hit that like button down below can we get 8,000 likes for this brand new update i think we can and also be sure to comment down below what do you think of the update do you like it do you think it's a lot of fun i'm curious to see what you guys have to say but yeah guys let's go ahead and jump into it with some stuff about the overtime challenges that is right guys again i'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a guide for the first main challenges that we have but yeah guys the overtime challenge is definitely super interesting because the first part about them that is like crazy interesting is that you can actually get the next battle pass the battle pass for season 8 completely 100 free that is right guys this is the first time they've done something like this where you can get the battle pass for free just by doing something like completing challenges and that is exactly how you do it now what they say on the patch notes for 7.40 they specifically say everyone who completes 13 free overtime challenges by february 27th will receive the upcoming season 8 battle pass for free that is right guys that is pretty crazy so yeah if you complete 13 of these free overtime challenges by february 27th you will get the season 8 battle pass for free which by the looks of it comes out probably after february 27th since that's when the overtime challenges go away maybe i don't know for sure yet that's honestly just a guess but hey it would kind of make sense right so yeah it says like with the battle pass you'll receive two season eight outfits instantly and you can earn up to five more so a total of seven outfits i believe from that but yeah after that let's go ahead and jump into it with the overview of the challenges so there's a bunch that are available now and for this video we're going to focus on technically six of them there's three challenges that i'm going to group and just say there's sort of one challenge because they're very similar so keep that in mind also obviously the complete 13 challenge for the free battle pass we already talked about that one the first few are these ones right here that just require you to complete overtime challenges in the first place and these are to unlock different styles for the battle pass skins for season 7 or like certain battle pass skins as you can see we talked about these before in a previous update video it's really not that tough and again there's not really any tips i can give you for this one well i guess i could say obviously is the faster you complete the challenges when they get released is when you're going to be able to get these styles the fastest but obviously we can't complete a bunch of those challenges until they unlock since they are uh, you know behind like timers and as you can see they kind of unlock in different amounts of time so yeah guys just complete challenges and you should be able to get towards those but yeah the main challenges that are available now are collect 15 coins in featured creative islands search chests or ammo boxes at a motel or an rv park and also place top 15 in duos with a friend also deal damage to opponents with assault rifles or pistols need 500 damage and regain health from a campfire in different matches so let's start off with the search chests or ammo boxes at a motel or an rv park because i think that's a good one to start out with but again we'll go over tips and tricks for all of these right here so yeah chests or ammo boxes at a motel or an rv park obviously the thing to take note of there is ammo boxes this is going to help you out a lot to get this done as fast as possible because obviously ammo boxes generally spawn i wouldn't say exactly like more than chests it sort of depends on the location obviously but definitely that makes it a lot easier usually when we have these types of challenges it's just chests so i do want to make sure you guys are aware of that that you can go for ammo boxes and that'll count towards the challenge as well now speaking of that which game mode is best for this if you guys watch my challenge guides you probably know where i'm going with this but the chest challenges and things like that are great to do in team rumble that's because if one of these two locations is on your side of the battle bus you can drop over there and it's very unlikely that people from the other team are going to go all the way across to get to one of these locations on your side on top of that we're even is the motel in the rv park well the motel is up near lazy links to the west of lazy links if you go between there and junk junction the motel is right over here this is a good one to go to because there's chests in the few buildings here i'm pretty sure the buildings next to the motel count i'm not 100 sure but for sure there's chests in this main motel area and on top of that a bunch of ammo boxes sitting around that again they don't always spawn since you guys know chests and ammo boxes are like kind of have a randomness to them if they decide to spawn at their locations but just 
check around, search around, and you should be able to find some. Like, for example, here I'm showing you some of them. So yeah, that's pretty great. And then for the RV park, this is on the other side of the map. Or not exactly on the other side of the map, but more so to the east. And a little bit to the south, between Lonely Lodge and Retail Row, the RV park is right here. Now, they're pretty similar in size. I don't know if one really has more chests or ammo boxes than the other. But the RV park has a bunch of, you know, things to run around. There's chests around there, ammo boxes around there as well. Pretty straightforward. And as you can see, here's a couple more examples. But just explore a bit and you should be able to find some. But they're fairly straightforward to find. So that's why I prefer that one. But then for the challenge I want to talk about after that, it is the place top 15 in duos with a friend. Now, there's two main things about this. Obviously, placing top 15. But the other one is, you know, having a friend to play with. If you guys need help finding somebody to play with, I would recommend my affiliate Gamerlink. It's a free app to download on iOS and Android. And it has a section specifically for finding players to play with. So yeah, it's definitely pretty great for this. So if you want to check that out, there will be a link down below in the description. I've been affiliated with them for a while and it's seriously an awesome app. But yeah, guys, after you have somebody to play with, you then need to place top 15 in duos. Now, I'm pretty sure top 15 means like the top 15 teams. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Correct me if I am. But yeah, obviously, you know, you just go into games and try to get to top 15. I guess there isn't really that much to go over with this one. If your team likes to just, you know, go for eliminations, you can do it that way. I mean, if you're playing for fun, you're probably going to get top 15 eventually a few times, but you could also maybe drop at a quiet area and then get a bunch of loot. So there's various ways to go about doing this, but overall it is not that difficult. But after that, then you have a fairly simple challenge, which is to regain health from a campfire in different matches or three different matches. And this one appears to be super straightforward. I haven't quite gotten to this because I wanted to get this guide out to you as quickly as possible, but I'm assuming you can use either the item campfire or the campfires on the map. Again, not 100% sure. So if one doesn't work for some reason, simply try the other. But that is pretty simple. If you want to just go to Lonely Lodge, there's a bunch there. And if you're also doing the duos challenge, you know, you could try knock out two birds with one stone. So overall, this one is pretty easy. And then after that, guys, let's talk about an easy way to find the 15 coins that are hidden throughout like creative featured maps. So at first, this seems like a fairly tough challenge finding 15 coins. But actually, guys, I have a really easy way to go about doing this. So yeah, guys, obviously, you need to start up a creative game. You can do it by yourself. In fact, it's probably just easiest to do it by yourself. But yeah, once you get into the creative, the main hub, there's two maps that I prefer and I think they're a little bit easier to get the coins on. And now that I'm thinking about it, these featured maps may switch in and out with different ones. Not 100% sure. But if you're watching this video the day I'm uploading it, these maps should be the same. But yeah, the first of which, which I recommend, is the Sky Snipes V2 one by Notnella. Now, it's a pretty cool map, but the reason that I recommend this one is because, as you can see, when you get into it, it's a very open map and you can move around very very, very easily. Now you do need to start the game once you get in there. But yeah, once you're there, you can use like the grappler in the low gravity to move around fairly fast and collect a bunch of coins in here. Now you will have to do another map as well. You can't get all of the 15 coins just in this map. But let me show you the locations right here. So the first of which that I went to was this one sort of in the middle on top of this little wooden piece. That's a good one to grab because then you can go right next to it and get another one on top of this building right here. After that, you can go over to this smaller rock to down here and this small rock is another coin you can just go ahead and grab now a good one to go to after that is this one it's up on this you know corner piece of rock with a building on it right on top of that uh, piece of building so go up there grab that one that's uh, I think four so far then if you keep going over you can go to this tower and find another one on the top of that you do have to like grapple up to it but should be pretty easy now if you keep rotating around you can find one on this small rock over here that's a good one to grab for sure and then just keep rotating around and go down to this spot hidden a little bit below this island but if you go right there you know just grapple into it it can be a little bit tough but there's another one I think that's seven so far and then if you just keep going around you can find another coin over at this corner and then following that you can get this one right here which is an island a little bit lower than the other ones and then if you go over to the other corner there's another one at this building right here so that is a good amount of coins to get right there so after that you simply want to back out to the creative hub and the next map that I would recommend is this one right Right here. The one that's called Move by, I think, Tomolia, probably pronouncing that wrong. This one's pretty great because if you need five coins, there's five coins fairly close to like the start of the map. Like as you can see right here, there's one right at the start. You don't even really have to do much to be able to grab that one. But then if you keep going outside, there's one above the road right here. You just want to jump into it. And then if you keep going, there's another one over this road. And then you can probably expect where this is going. You keep going across the other road and there's another coin that you can jump into right there. Now then after that, you simply need one more and that is across this tire course right here, simply in the middle of it. So jump over to that and that'll be your final one. 
one, I believe. But if you need more, simply keep going through the course. But they're fairly straightforward to find, so that's why I prefer that one. And then real quick, guys, the final challenge I want to talk about in this video is probably the easiest one of them all, and that is to deal damage with assault rifles or pistols. You only need to deal 500 damage, and obviously that's super straightforward because, well, a lot of the times you'll pick up an AR and use it as one of your main weapons when you're playing normally. So really, guys, I would just recommend playing normally. Maybe not even worry about this one. Maybe start to focus on it at the end, but if you're doing, like, duos top 15, you'll probably get this one without even trying to. But yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more fun videos like this coming out in the near future. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos, such as on the left, an awesome Season 8 theory video I had, and then on the right, my Week 10 Challenges Guide. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.